Hi there, I'm Jo, welcome to my channel. So today I am tackling the craft cupboard slash games and Lego cupboard that we have in our dining room. It's just where all the boys um, supplies go and things and it's got a little crazy. So I did try and organize it in the summer and this has got two different parts this video. I filmed the first go through of this cupboard um, in the summer when my channel was down for a bit because I broke my camera um, and then I just didn't get back to YouTube but there were a few things I did film although I didn't turn them into a video this being one of them so I'm going to show you what I did then and then what it looks like now and then hopefully what it will look like by the end of this and so you can see how it goes and how sometimes you can organize something and it can look great but it might not necessarily last and you've just got to keep tackling these spaces until it just clicks and you know it works yeah and there's some things in there that are mine and the boys don't use at all like cards and wrapping and all of that sort of thing so i'm going to take that out of the cupboard so it's purely their cupboard and they can access everything and know where it is and hopefully be able to put it back in a sensible place so yeah i will show you what i've been up to so this is a glimpse of the before this are drunk drawers and yeah really the whole cupboard is almost sort of a junk cupboard it's where everything gets shoved in relation to the boys so i've bought some boxes and i'm going to try and get organized and try and sort it all out but yeah, I would say this video is a great example of where organising doesn't necessarily work. I think I organised everything, but I needed to get rid of more stuff out of there. So yeah, that's why I did all this lot. Went through everything, pulled it all out, and yet I'm still having to retackle it. I think I found that with quite a lot of my spaces, that I keep having to go back and revisit them. And each time I'm learning and I'm learning to let go a bit more. So I know that eventually we will get there. I can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's always going to be a work in progress with me. I'm not a naturally tidy, naturally organised person. This is something that I am learning. So that was then and this is now and I think it's okay that not every space that you try and sort out works perfectly the first time. It's journey, this is real life. It's, yeah, a process to simplify my life but I'm not always getting it right first time. It's something you've got to keep going and I think this is just a way of life that I've got to keep tackling every space and decluttering until we get to that point where we feel, yep, this right we have simplified we are at the right space so with this cupboard we're definitely not there yet so let's take another look so as you can see i've got all the boxes in there that i organized last summer but it's become a bit of a mess again you'll have to let me know if this happens to you as well that you organize and declutter and sort out a space and yet you find yourself you have to come back to it and redo it again it's getting better every time I go through space and the more I'm learning to let go, then the less I have to do this. But yeah, there's still those spaces in my house where it is not organised, it's not together and I'm just going to have to keep tackling them until I get there. But I would love to know that I am not alone in dealing with this. So this is the craft side of the cupboard and it's looking a lot better there's just some oversized books and things that we can't fit there. 
pens, paintbrushes, that's a box of a play kinetic sand, tapes and things, then cards. This is stickers. Um, and here we've got all the colouring in books, all the craft supplies in this one. I upgraded it to a bigger one, which is good. Play-Doh and paints. And so the boys can come in here and help themselves to all the craft projects. And we've got a big roll of big paper at the back, but we keep our other coloured paper in my husband's desk. So the boys can help themselves to paper when they need it as well. Then moving on to this side, I have stacked all the puzzles and the games up so that they are easier to reach and then we've got our big box of lego down here and um, a few pieces that are built with the baseboards and these are all the instructions for all the lego bits and then yeah, that is a stack just of jigsaw puzzles on the kind of the wooden board ones and then another game on top but that is the games and Lego cupboard. So hopefully the boys will find it a lot easier to use both those cupboards. So that's it, I'm feeling a lot better with the cupboards, how they're organized now, and hopefully it will stay that way. I think last time I kind of had too much stuff in there. I've been reading about the 80-20 um, rule, so I know about it with kind of life, and you can apply it to all sorts of different things, like your wardrobe, Apparently most people um, only wear 20% of their wardrobe 80% of the time um, and the other 80% only 20% of the time. Um, but they say that when you're organising a space like a drawer or a cupboard, if you leave 20% free space, it's more likely to stay organised. If you try and cram everything in, it's just harder to keep it organised. So I've gone back into these cupboards, tackled them again, removed more stuff, and hopefully they will stay a bit more organized this time. So yeah, I think sometimes you don't get it right first time, but that's why this is a journey and always worth to keep going and going. And I know sometimes you see these videos of the before and after and you don't see what they're like a year later. So in this one you did, uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and if you like this sort of content then please do consider subscribing and I will see you again next week. Okay, thanks. Bye.